Well, fear is everywhere in our world. All you have to do is listen to the news to unleash a good dose of fear, right? For many people, fear consumes them and is the source of, of their decisions. You know, a lot of mental illness is rooted in fear. So what is the antidote to fear? Well, there's a little verse in the Bible that talks about how to get rid of fear. Are you ready for this? 1 John 4, 18 says this, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. Wow. I don't know anything that cures fear other than the truth that we are deeply loved. See, this is the truth of who we are. You and I are deeply loved by God. This is his heart for, your, for you and for your identity. This is actually the antidote to fear. Knowing you are loved removes fear. God loves you more than anyone else is capable of loving you. Did you know that? He loves you as a child and as a good parent. He wants to give you everything you need. And you might ask, well, how much does God love me? I mean, maybe you think he loves other people more than he could possibly love you. Well, listen to what Jesus says when he's talking about you to his father in John 17, 23. He said this, I am in them and you are in me. May they experience such perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. Take a closer look at the words of Jesus. Do you see what he's saying there? God the Father loves you as much as he loves Jesus. Wow. You may need to pause on that thought to take in the reality of it. You see, many of us would agree that God loves us but sadly, we don't understand how much he loves us. He doesn't love others more. He doesn't even love Jesus more. Jesus isn't his favorite. We are not second-rate children in the family. We are deeply loved by God, and he loves us as much as he loves Jesus. Jesus is not only our Savior and our Lord, but he's our older brother. Listen to what Jesus says about you being his brother or sister in Hebrews 2, verse 11. So now Jesus and the ones he makes holy have the same father. That is why Jesus is not ashamed to call his brothers, call them his brothers and sisters. You see, this is the gift that Jesus gives us when we trust him. We're adopted into his family and we become Jesus' sibling and we receive all the benefits available to him, including unconditional an unmeasurable love from the Father. So, has fear got a grip on you? Well, here's the antidote. Receives God's receive God's perfect love for you. Embrace this truth and let fear go. Lean into his love just like Jesus did because that will remove fear and that's courageous living.